there beautiful souls it's me Cynthia I am super excited I mean more than usual <laughs> to talk to you about this blessed new moon that's coming in Thursday the 11th of February and you know if you haven't done it yet please get your natal chart check out where Aquarius is in your house placement because that is the area that you're going to be called to grow to set this new vision for yourself to totally leave everything that you thought you wanted you knew and let that go because Aquarius is that energy of futuristic forward movement right it's the thoughts the planning the visioning and seeing exactly with clarity what's right for you now now what's making this just the ever magical new moon of our whole entire year of 2021 is the fact that at 23 degrees the new moon is conjunct there with the sun and the moon it's a point in the sky that's going to get a little visit from oh, a little planet I think you've heard of called Jupiter three times during this whole year once in March once during the summer I believe it's July and again in November so this intention this dream this visualization of your future self guess what it's going to get that powerful boost from Jupiter the planet of hopes and dreams expansion abundance and growth you couldn't make this up you couldn't put this in a script and have it work out any better and that's why it's so important now for you to take some time look at your chart check out where Aquarian energy is and yeah you want to make that happen while you got this big fantastic chance now another thing that's going to help you do that is our mercury retrograde right and if you haven't dropped your phone into the toilet <laughs> congratulations but what mercury is doing is it's helping you uncover the ways in which you know you're done with the past things you used to think about the stuff that used to occupy your time the people the conditions and places that you are familiar with now you're going to look at and you're going to be able with mercury retrograde to say hmm not happening for me now heck I don't even have any emotional feelings about that anymore well guess what that means as soon as that happens you know that you have solved that karma you've turned the page and you're moving on to that next step so thank goodness for mercury retrograde helping us mercury is also conjuncting the beautiful conjunction we got a triple conjunction here folks it's it's amazing again uh, Venus Jupiter and Mercury they're conjuncting that conjunction and this energy is just big creative thoughts huge uh, power empowering thoughts about just dreaming your highest dream it's it's truly just that boost of beautiful energy of happiness and growth and yeah that's why this is the new moon to set your intention for something you want to see not just for this month not just for next month but for the entire year and actually Saturn's going to be coming through there as well solidifying building helping you grow so that intention make it work through the whole of 2021 and the whole of 2022 so as I said go big or go home this is the new moon for it and I wish you many blessings if you have any questions comments you need some help figuring out this in your chart just let me know namaste my friends